What is up FEG fam? Welcome back to the channel and in today's video I wanted to talk about Yai Miko's constellations. Now we've touched on her constellations here on the channel a little bit because there were some changes to them and some nice changes if I do say so myself but we never really talked about whether or not they are worth your primo gems and intertwined fates to go for so that's what I want to talk about today as well as talk about her talents and which ones you may want to level up first. So if you do enjoy the content, if the information is a bit informative for you or helps you make a decision, go ahead and drop a like. It helps out the channel tremendously, means the world to me. And if you're new to the channel, you enjoy what we're doing here, go ahead and consider subscribing. Join the FPG family. We would love to have you stick around. Now, with that being said, there are just some disclaimers that we do have to get out of the way right off the bat, right? First and foremost, if you are a blubbery, megalodon, leviathan, whale, this doesn't apply to you, right? Because you're going to be doing whatever you want to do, C6ing her, no matter what I have to say. But if you are a free-to-play player or a light spender, there are some things to consider that we're going to talk about here in just a second. Also, Yaimiko is, of course, still in beta. So what we speak about in terms of her constellations today are subject to change and probably will when she officially releases. So keep that in mind when we're talking about that. Now let's go ahead and jump into what we have here. So we're going to talk about the constellations and then we're going to talk about whether they're worth going for or not and then some things that you can consider. So with the constellations, what I will say and be transparent with you guys is that they're good but I don't think they're worth going for and I'm going to go ahead and explain myself here. So if we take a look at C1, and I'm not going to go into detail, if you want to see the information for yourself, there will be a link to the Discord. Join the Discord, go under Genshin Beta News, you can see this information all for yourself. The C1 is nice, but I don't think it's worth. Now if we take a look at the C2, which did get a buff, the C2 is kind of spicy, and I do like what it's doing. But once again, I don't think it's worth your intertwined fates and primo gems to actually go for. I think you're better off saving. But I do think the C2 is going to be a bit underrated and is going to be possibly better than what most people think. I think the C2 has the ability to change the way you play Yai Miko in comparison to a C0 Yai Miko. And what I mean by that is that there are some characters in the game of Genshin Impact when you unlock their constellations, they play a bit differently than if you had them just as C0. So just a few examples that I can throw out there for you is a C0 Hu Tao versus a C1 Hu Tao. When you take a look at a C1 Hu Tao, it plays a little bit differently than a C0 one, right? Not that much, but a little bit differently. Another example that I can point to is a C6 Zhao versus a C0 Zhao. They play extremely differently <laughs> and rightfully so, right? If you're going to go C6 for an entire, you know, for one character, then they should, but that is just some examples. Now, I'm not saying that a C2 Yai Miko is going to be, you know, that significantly different. I don't know until you actually utilize her in game and have the C2 unlocked, but I'm saying there's a possibility that it could be. Now, if we take a look at the C4, that's just some supporting capabilities for your allies. And then for C6, that's where things get nutty. But you have to go all the way to C6 to get that. But things become extremely nutty and i think at that point yeah you are really playing completely different than a c0 yai miko at that point in time so the constellations are good but i don't think they're great and i don't think they're so good that you need to actually use your intertwined fates and you chase for those constellations you go deep for it i don't think it's that worth but once again this is just my subjective opinion and this is just my recommendation to my free-to-play players, light spenders, or new players to the game of Genshin Impact. See, whenever there are new characters that I'm excited for, and they're going to be coming into the game of Genshin Impact, like Yai Miko, like the Raiden Shogun at one point in time, Hu Tao, and others, what I try and do here on the channel is give you the best advice, the best recommendation, and have you prepared the best I possibly can for when that character drops, to give you the best information that I can so you can make the wisest decision for yourself and your account. And I try and have you prepared for that and to be able to decide what to do. That is what I'm trying to do with these constellations here because when I take a look at them on paper, now when she officially releases in the game, these constellations could be utterly broken and I was wrong. But what I'm seeing on paper is that they're, they're good, but I don't think that they're 
quote unquote broken and worth going for and spending even more primo gems or intertwined fates to get because for a free to play player or a light spender i think going for other characters and spending your premium currency there is a better investment and you get more dividends back from that than going for constellations on just one said character now of course if Yai yamiko is your most favorite character in the game and you want to get constellations for her then by all means you do that right it's up to you it's your account but if you're asking me for my advice and recommendation i would say save because if you take a look at what's happening you know in between yai miko and afterwards we have zhongli rerun coming back and we have a ganyu rerun as well right two extremely good characters that are definitely worth going for if you don't have and then if we take a look at what's running alongside or possibly running alongside yai miko we're looking at possible reruns of kazua now as of this recording i don't have any confirmation on that but a possible rerun of kazua a phenomenal character or a possible rerun of Raiden Shogun a phenomenal character and then if we look past that we have possibly Ayato coming so there are just a lot of great characters that you can obtain if you don't have them already once again that you can have on your account and that will be a better investment than just simple constellations on Yai Miko but once again, that's just my opinion. That's just my recommendation. That's just what I believe you should do. Once again, at the end of the day, it's up to you. You do what you want to do on your own account. I'm just here to help you the best I can. Now, before we speak about the talents that I believe you should be leveling up with the iMiko, a word from our sponsor here on the channel, which we wouldn't have if it wasn't for your support that you provide me each and every day. I appreciate you guys. And here's the word from our sponsor. So Gamersubs, the sponsor of the channel, is dropping a brand new flavor and brand new products here today. So as of this recording, uh, as of January 14th. So you can use my link in the description down below. That is the link to Gamersubs. If you go over there, you can use code FurtherBeyondGaming at checkout. That is my name, FurtherBeyondGaming at checkout to get 10% off everything in the store there are brand new flavors there is a brand new waifu cup and there is a brand new waifu shirt not to mention all the other great ones that are there these waifu cups are collectibles and once they're gone they are gone so you're going to want to make sure you get your hands on them the flavors are amazing they give you phenomenal energy they mix really well and they are all organic i use them every single morning what i look forward to in the morning mixing up some gamer subs and having that great energy and it tastes great also there's caffeine free if you don't want any caffeine so you can have some flavored water that tastes great that you can sip on all day long go over there and if you do purchase anything using the link in the description down below and my code at checkout it directly supports the channel helps us to grow to do bigger and better things and it means the world to me once again thank you guys so much i do truly appreciate it now let's go ahead and talk about those talents for Yai Miko. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about those talents at this time. And for what I'm seeing now, this is of course early first impressions. I'm thinking you go, you can go ahead and baseline everything at six, like with most characters, right? Level everything out at six because I think at the charge attack is going to be pretty good with the multiple hits and the pretty decent scaling. I think the charge attacks are going to be nice and something that you may want to have at level six. And then I think you then start going for the elemental skill and the elemental burst and you start leveling those up. Now, if you did want to go ahead and crown anything, I'm leaning towards the elemental burst because of the nuke aspect of it. But I just have this suspicion, this sneaky suspicion, this intuition of mine, instincts, whatever you want to call it, that the elemental skill is going to be the way to go. But I can't confirm that until I actually use this character in game but the more I look at the elemental skill the more I see gameplay of it because of how instrumental it is to her kit I'm thinking the elemental skill is going to be the way to go but once again I need to actually use it in game to see how important it really is so as of right now I'm leaning towards the elemental burst being the way to go but if you want to just level those up simultaneously together I think that would be the way to do it so you level up the elemental burst alongside the elemental skill whether that to be to eight or nine whatever the case may be and then 
you have the normal attack at level six i think that is going to be the way to go when it comes to the talent levels but once again let me know what you guys think down in the comments below let me know your thoughts and opinions on everything that we discussed today once again i hope the video was slightly informative i hope you guys got something from it and i hope it allowed you to be able to decide what you want to do moving forward and i i love you guys and i'm here to just try and give you the best advice possible anyways I'm going to get on out of here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Remember to stand out, be different, have fun, go further beyond in literally everything that you do. My name is Cody. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.